for what it's worth, I love that car. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, live and in color here at the RV Park in Lano, Texas. And that is not mine. That belongs to a fellow named Tom here to my left. Tom drove up from Austin. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. And uh, he bought him a new, uh, well, reasonably new Carvette. And uh, yeah, it's awesome, man. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. I was just... Uh, I was just, I have a, a rare Sunday off. Right. And, you know, when you have a new sports car and you have a rare Sunday off, then what are you going to do? It's yeah. a whole day in the hill country at your feet. No, it's beautiful around. Yeah, you, and you've picked a good drive to go from here to Fredericksburg. I, absolutely. No. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I've been over the hill country for 40 years on motorcycles, so I don't really yeah. need a map. Well, tell me you, about your this super car you bought. What What is it actually called? What is it? What? I mean, what's it called? It's a Corvette. It's a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Oh, a Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. And uh, you know anything about the motor or anything? Sure. It's a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated dry sump motor, which basically means it's a monster. It's like a normal car when you're driving it around town, but when you stomp on it, it just goes all crazy, which no. is what I want. Yeah. I had a hip replacement about a year ago, and I asked my doctor if... I could get another motorcycle and he looked at me and said you can but i did a really good job on your hip and i really don't want you to mess that up <laughs> and i said well do you think i should get a sports car he said that'd be a lot safer yeah but he doesn't know me yeah so, well yeah I, I, you know but let me get around i, I want to look at the back of the thing because carvettes are neater and crap man they're they're absolutely neat uh, it's an all yeah it's an all aluminum body all aluminum body. Uh, all aluminum frame with a fiberglass body. Okay, on. all aluminum frame with a fiberglass body. Yeah, well, what's the fastest you've had it up to so far? I, 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 I'm, I'm 61. Yeah. And that means that I've lived this long by being fairly prudent. No, I hear you. So you haven't tried to set the world speed uh, record? I got it up to 100, but it's got a lot more legs than that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 150 wouldn't be bad? Well, here's the thing. You know, you get a new car and you... Gonna go try to tear it up the first thing after you get it. Yeah, I hear you. Let's look inside. I want to sure. see the see the, the the pilot seat. This is freaking awesome, man. It's got a red leather interior. Let's look at this. And it's got the millennial anti theft device, which is a manual transmission. Yeah, he call he calls a manual transmission a millennial theft device. Anti theft device. Anti theft device, and that's true because they don't know how to to drive a standard shift anymore. They really don't. And when I, there's a, a highway out, right outside of west, uh, east of Austin called Texas 130, and the speed yeah. limit's 80 out there. Yeah, you can you can cruise on that. And so many times I've been in my other my other vehicle driving along at 80, and people just blow past me like I'm standing up on blocks. So right. Like, if there's any place that it's safe, safe to kind of speed test this thing, that'd be the spot. Absolutely, absolutely. And so I got it out there, and at 80 miles an hour, it's only turning 1,500 RPM. God. And at 100, it's only turning 1,800 RPM. The red line is 6,500. Good God, man. So Look at all that room you've you got. You could get plumb crazy with it, but I'm yep. not going to do that. I you no really could. You really have no intention of doing that. I mean, this is a sharp-looking car. I've seen people, you know, on the highways driving these things, and I've always wondered who was inside of them. And now I know. Well, it's Tom is inside of them, okay? It's basically a go-kart with a giant motor in it. How, how long have you had it? About a month. One month? Yeah, it's got... Uh, Basically, out of the factory, it's 455 horsepower and 450 foot-pounds of torque. 455 horsepower, 455 torque. 460 torque. 460 torque. That's plenty, right? It, it'll 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 honk. But <laughs> it'll honk. <laughs> um, you know, I got it because we well, just think it's a beautiful car. Well, what? How did you end up watching my channel on YouTube? Did you have a, a, a brain disease or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, you might say that. I, I watch all kinds of stuff on YouTube. I watch yeah. a lot of Finnegan's Garage, and I watch a lot of automobile-related stuff. And yeah. I like to do things like I'm doing today on a day off. I just get on, used to get on the bike and go ride till I'm no, I hear you. dusk and then come home. Sure, yeah, just cruise yeah. around, yeah. What was, is anybody you want to say hello to on uh, YouTube? <laughs> well, if any of y'all are unfortunate enough to see me, I'd say hey to the guys that work at HEB Austin 6. <laughs> And uh, well, they'll see this to somewhere, somebody will see it. And uh, no, it, 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 that's a I gotta, I gotta say this HEB is good people, right? They're they have absolutely, I've been with them a couple of years now, 
And if I'd have known they were this good a company, I'd have been with them 20 years ago. Yeah, no, they, I've, I've never heard an, an employee complain they, about they, they are wonderful. HEB. Yeah. They're wonderful. Well, let um, me end this video, and then you and I will chat. But anyway, this just wanted to show you this, guys. This is Tom from works with HEB. He's just traveling in the Hill Country. Can't drop by to say hello to me here in Lano. But anyway, guys, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link. Drink plenty of water. Whatever it takes to keep your health. And enjoy your day. And the next thing you need to do is get you a tow vehicle like this right here to tow your little travel trailer down the highway. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.